Hello there everybody, it's me Tetmujok back with another Conan Exiles here on the Chernobyl server. If like me you think that the climbing around in Conan Exiles is excellent, then you might be interested in learning the mountaineering skill that allows you to make yourself some climbing boots and climbing gloves that allow you to climb things more easily. And perhaps unsurprisingly, in order to learn this skill you need to climb something. That in particular. Yes. Not that one, that one. So we're going to climb up there and we're going to show you how to learn the mountaineering skill. So first things first, the place we're at on the map is over here just north of the unnamed city on this sort of extension of the corrupted lands and you're aiming for the southernmost pass through there. I have stuck down a bedroll and a crate and put all my stuff in it down there and I've already climbed up this little bit here which is to the southeast of the pinnacle that we're aiming for um, and really it's not too difficult all that you're wanting to do is just to make sure that each time you're climbing you're climbing up to the shortest or the lowest next bit that you're going to be able to rest at so just keep on going up don't exert yourself too much and you don't need to respec to some sort of climbing build. I don't have too much in grit at the moment, and even my agility is not that high. If we have a look, you'll see um, I do have a few points into grit to get me to the second point here to get um, a little bit extra stamina when I do climb. Uh, but this is my standard build for going out and adventuring. Um, I don't even have the cat-like ability here uh, in agility, so if I do fall, then... Yeah, I am going to take a bit of damage. Um, don't bother trying to do like a running jump off of here onto the onto the wall because when you do, you're just going to slide down. So just go up to the wall and slowly but surely make your way up like this. Some of the bits of this wall are a little bit janky, so it's not too bad climbing up here, but be aware that you kind of go into the wall a little bit, as you can see there. Um, but you should be okay. This seems to be kind of the the most difficult bit of the climb. Um, but as you can see, we managed to make it up here with a little bit of stamina to disappear. And then we'll just wait for that to recharge and then climb up the next bit as well. Um, so we just make our way up here, basically on the east side here. And then we'll work our way around onto the south side again. It could be possible to do it in other bits, but I haven't tried that. So here again, this is quite a long climb up onto here, but yeah, I've managed to make it. Probably wouldn't have made that if I didn't have the extra 10% in climbing, but I think there's other bits that you could probably get to if you didn't have that, but again, not trying to run up and take a running jump at that. We're just going to go up here. But yeah, there's lots of little bits on here to stop at. But we're going to manage to make it up onto this bit, which takes... Oh! Just catch myself there. So there we go. We'll just stop off at this bit and make sure that we can make it. So yeah, a little bit of a janky bit there that caused us to slip and fall, but not to worry, we can climb our way around here, onto this little edge here, and we'll stop off again, um, and climb up, I think, this bit. That looks okay. Yeah, there's a little bit here that we can stop at. Perfect. Um, and then I think what we need to do at this point is start climbing our way diagonally round, and this is going to bring us round here. Yep. And I think, is this going to be enough to stand on? It doesn't look like it, so I'm going to climb round and up and onto this bit. Yeah, this bit looks okay. Yeah. And we're golden, and then we're going to climb r up and round here, like this, and we're just about there. Oh, slid a little bit because I was distracted by my throat feeling dry a little bit there. 
But if we come over here, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we can actually walk at this bit. Can I take a wee drink? Oh yeah. And we'll have something to eat as well. Stop off for a little bit of a picnic, but we can already see this guy's camp up here. Um, so we are all but there. Just being careful. Being ready to grab hold of the wall should we hit a little glitchy bit and slide down. But all that remains is to speak to the mountaineer. Do not let me spoil this moment for you, stranger. Oh, yeah. To conquer a peak such as this is no small thing. Indeed. And you would click here to learn the religion of mountaineer, and May that would... May your grip would... always be strong, friend. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. And that gives you the feats of being able to make the... Um, I don't know if it shows in here, actually. Let's have a look. Climbing gloves. Yeah, there we go. Climbing stuff. Mountaineer. Which uh, doesn't touch these. Oh, there you go. Climbing boots and climbing gloves. And they are crafted at the armorer's bench. And all it takes is a pair of light boots um, or a pair of light gloves or and or a pair of light gloves with some string. And I think it's... I can't remember how much string, but it's pretty sure it's six iron bars as well for each of these things. So pretty cheap to be able to make them. And of course, all that remains now is for us to make our way down the mountain. Um, and I could, if I so wish, just leap off and uh, and die and then respawn at my bedroll. But I am going to just uh, clamber down, doing majestic leaps of faith. Ooh, that was close. But we have made it. Um, slightly on the northern side here. What I'm going to do is run round, grab my stuff, avoiding these rock donkeys. Hopefully I shall be able to do that. And in the chest already I have some climbing gloves and stuff. So I'll show, show you how much easier it makes life. So if we go... There's no way I'm going to manage that. Let's see. If I can manage that with my climbing boots and gloves. So we'll put them on and we'll see how far up there we get. <coughs> Let's just go and climb up here and see. Look how much stamina it doesn't take to climb up here. Barely using any stamina to climb up here now. Already a considerable distance off the ground. And I'm not even, there we go, maybe a three quarters of my stamina. I'll probably manage to make it up to the top of this pinnacle fairly easily. I'm not going to do that. Am I? Am I going to manage to make it all the way up here? I mean, that's is only just below half now. And look how far up we've managed to climb. That's I think that's making us go pretty much halfway up the mountain so far. And we might even manage to make it to that bit there. I think I'm going to make it. I think I'm going to make it. <laughs> yep. With some to spare. And it. I had to do it in one, two, three, four, five steps before, maybe? So yeah, the climbing boots and climbing gloves, well worth it. In a PvE situation, it allows you to get up to cool places and find the little secrets. I know that the aloe soup is uh, pretty tricky to climb up to. The recipes for that are on top of a thing that you could climb up, and the climbing boots make that substantially easier. And in a PvP, it can make the difference between a readable base and a non-readable base. So yeah, well worth a go. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more tips and tricks and cool stuff from Conan Exiles and other games as well. Until the next time, folks, cheery bye and have a funs.